team plays. Okay. Oh, Oof. See, he plays it off the flash perfectly there. Oh, enemy breathing. <laughs> Poor guy. Four bullets. Three bullets. Three on the round. Oh! Oh! Gets the ace! Alright, so we're finally gonna do a video on Zekin, and yeah, there's a little bit of drama with Xset recently. There was like the whole thing with the replay of the match, uh, like versus FPX at champs, and they ended up losing again. But in all fairness, it wasn't the players' fault. It was like uh, it was Riot's call. So the players were kind of getting some hate that they didn't deserve. So anyway, yeah, don't don't hate on Xset. It wasn't really their fault. But today we're gonna we're gonna make a video here on Zekin, and he is he's a nutcase, man. He is, he ended rank 1 last season as well, like, he's just so good, man. This guy is actually nuts. So yeah, today we're gonna review one of his games on Fracture, and just see how he's able to play so consistently well, so let's go. Alright, so, starting here on the attack. The for me about Europe versus North America, when we came over here, I was under the impression that NA was kind of the... I mean, mute all my teammates so I can be toxic. Um, I was under the impression when I came here Actually, that like, NA was kind of the dumber region, and that we relied a lot more on like raw aim duels and just swinging people to win. Um, in my opinion, at least at like a, a top top level, NA is a bit better about their util usage and about taking fights as a group, where EU is more reliant on solo swinging and just winning fights. And EU I has a it lot to be the of that. Way around. So that's what's kind of surprised me in this tournament. Yeah, I feel like EU kind of gets overrated for their strats because of Fnatic. But well, EU has a lot of aimers. Like, a lot of aimers. I, I think EU is more known for, like, god aimers. I think maybe in NA ranked, it's different. Nice two-piece here, by the way. Sorry, I wasn't even yeah, focusing fully on the game. Rip? Just uh, that, that, uh, that topic was kind of interesting. I have to... I'm gonna take one view. Gonna go to college. Uh, oh, we'll I see. can flash sand if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I feel like uh, EU is definitely yeah. more like aim reliant. The only team that's not really is Fnatic, who just have amazing strats. Okay, we're insta rushing out here. Ooh. Ooh. This is out. North America. One more, one more North America. He's just pushing CT ah. here. What the one fuck? Going for the long range specter. Back. You only ever do that if they're. <laughs> it goes back again. You only ever do that if the enemy are, like, going, what's it called, on an eco. Sorry, I can't concentrate with the background music. Yeah, the enemy are on an eco here, it's pretty free low. Never mind, this guy is insane. What the fuck? Intre very interesting topic, though, uh, the debate between EU and NA. That's why it was so, it was so like weird when uh, the replay got called last night, or not last night, it was the other day now. So they're just playing bonus here, he's going just for ghost heavy armor, someone dropped them. Cough on every single player while I had COVID, it was crazy. Looks like they're just gonna break the trip here and instantly rotate. They're just playing five together. When you're on these, when you're on this bonus round, you really want to do this where you all just clump together. Because you can just wipe people out. Even if they have a better gun than you, you just wipe people out. So he's going straight away, entering. His neon takes sight, and he's gonna go tower. Oh! Doesn't even spot the breach there, he just expects it to be clear. And he actually gets hard punished for this. Hard, hard punished. The, uh, the breach gets an ace. I wanted to play DRX, man. That would've been funny. DRX are insane. Us and DRX, and we're all pretty friendly for the most part, so it would have been a real fun. It would have been a fun. Right, so we'll see. We'll see how they play this one. Just gonna run it a main by the looks of it. Kind of froze. Yeah, this guy is off the Ooh, this Molly kind of ruins them actually. A very big Molly by their Burmy. Yeah, they get the comms that there's four here. He might just lurk this section now, he's gonna go. They're pretty good. They don't have enough players to leave a lurk here. If you have more players, you can leave a lurk. But uh when you're in 3v4 like this, I guess it's not worth. He spots him, you see the way just look at the map when you're rotating like this. Ooh. You can get done here. 
See, he knows he's still... Oh. He knows he's still down in numbers and they still really need a play. Like, if you sit on site here, Reach can all... You can just die. Like, there's just... You need a play, you know what I mean? There's a time and a place for making a play and... When you're down in numbers and you're in post plan, that's the time to make a play. Did practice for this. Do you think you're better in times right now? I feel like I'm not allowed to say yes. <laughs> I feel like that's a trap question. That is a trap question. The right answer is I don't know. Oh, I feel like if you're a pro player, saying you're better than anyone is usually like a tower, tower. a trap. Unless you do want to be like toxic and create like a bit of a bit of fun. Oh, chambers balanced. Nice. Yeah, saying you're like just like straight up saying you're better than people in pro, like oh, that's that's a risky move right there. Unless you just like wanna, you're saying it for fun and shit. Like, but if you're being like genuinely serious, like no, I'm better than this guy, then it's like you're sounding like a bit of a dick. But yeah, we'll see. You see, like two of them just took dish there, and now he's gonna wait here. There's no way he's gonna jump spot here. It's that's not that's not gonna happen, Zekin, bro. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, there is us. That's <laughs> it's not gonna happen, bro. We can catch this opera though. Fuck. I still smoke it. That's a rocket here. This is a really good position for a rocket. Just not happening here, man. Oh. Nice. Oh, picks up the two. That's so good. Catches the timing so well on the chamber. Just instant. Oh. <laughs> That is like a perfect example of when to walk out of smoke. Like he, he, they needed a play, and he had a great timing on him. And oh, what the actual fuck is this raise doing? Looks like my raise, Jesus. Nice. Smart by the by the chamber there to push through the the blowy up thing. I never know the name. Was it aftershock? Uh, uh, the breach stuff. fucking. I just call it the breach nade because I'm brain dead. <laughs> it's not even a nade at all, but I, I don't know what else to call it. Slow. He's playing a very slow and controlled here. He's not. He's not just go go going. You know what I mean? He's starting off these rounds very slow, not giving the enemy much information, which is definitely like that's a different style than most of the. Uh, oh, it's a different style than most of the race players. It's usually just like go go go. But he's very slow controlled into go go go, you know what I mean? A lot of shift walking, a lot of, a lot of slow we taking space. It's because I'm a stupid American. Yeah. Maybe Grimmauld side or retakes? Just, just I thought right forced okay. them, but now I know exit agreed to play GG's, this is enough. So much utility here, man. Let's work together to make that switch. To make that switch out. Dish. Dish. Uh, this is this is rough, man. There's not much you can even do here. He has a rocket, like, but what are you gonna rocket? The neon laser just zapping him down as well. This is looking rough, man. This is looking actually rough. Very close rounds. Enemy are definitely playing it well, though. Just gonna give up on B main here. He was just gonna look for a quick kill. But once again, when you're when you're in down in numbers like this, you either want 1v1s or you want like 5v1s, you know what I mean? My bad, I should have thrown. <laughs> peeking. Peeking, peeking. Now you really do need a kill. When you're in these mid round situations, like... And most people just crumble, they don't really know what to do, they're just kind of like playing with their arse, like... If you don't know what to do, look for a kill. That's like... That's some like small advice for you. If you have no idea what to do and everything's getting like confusing, just look for a kill. Like, see the way he's just slowly looking for a kill here, and he's gonna find one. Race got play. Race got play in a, guys. Nice. nice. You see what I mean? You don't know what to do. It's getting to that mid round. You're not sure what's even happening. Amazing satchel movement here. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't know what to do in that situation, just look for a frag. 
Wow, <laughs> canteen. <laughs> one CT, one canteen. I'm just gonna chill here and play the post plant. Still has a rocket launcher. I report you. Uh, I don't want to backseat, sorry. I even got a jiggle here for info. He's actually just playing it full safe. Yeah. Nice. You see how he pops the rocket there to defend himself? Forever, and then I, and then I, and then I, and then I, chuck this shit. Right, I think that's Not a Rosa. He actually needed that rocket. That rocket saved his life. Like, if he doesn't... See the way he waits in the molly as well, by the way? It's, like, so important. If he didn't wait in the molly, he would have died. Because uh, the whip out animation is just so long. Like, if you just sit there in the molly for a second or two, then you can jump out with... you actually able to shoot the rocket, he's fucked. The brim, at best, gets a one-for-one. One. And at worst, he just dies. But when you're in post spot like that, it's so worth it. People, like, don't be afraid to pop your ult. Like, uh, people think, like, when the round is in a winnable position, oh, let's just save all our ults for next round. But you keep doing that, you're gonna save your ult to next fucking game, and next pistol round. You're not gonna spawn into the next game with the showstopper, like, you, it's not gonna happen. Just use them. The more you use them, the more you can get. Every time you die, you get an old pour or orb. orb. Nice. nice. Let's go. Let's go Pretty good counter to the flank there. Every time you die, you get an old orb. Every time you get a kill, you get an old orb. And there's four of them on this map, so like, just keep using them. Oh my god, the team doesn't clear behind the box, and he just gets rolled for it. Team diff. Uh, you probably should have checked the the box. He's seen the neon didn't yeah, clear. Pretty solid. This is like, these are the best teammates I've had in the Nesha. It's a very, it's a very competitive game. Like, it's not, um, it's not like a ranked run it down kind of game here. It's like a pretty high level place here. A lot of patience, a lot of, like, team plays. Okay. Oof. See, he plays it off the flash perfectly there. Oh, enemy breach. <laughs> Poor guy. He's just perfectly playing off these fucking these flashes from his breach here. Four bullets, three bullets. What does he do? Three on the round. Oh, oh, gets the ace. Holy, gets two free kills from the breach flashes. Gets tr a one tap hardcore on the poor chamber and then fucks up the last two in the neon wall. Very well played. That's why, man, you need to utilize these. You need to utilize your initiators, man. They're so, like, the game goes from, like, so hard to so easy if you have a good initiator. Like, if you can get a duo who plays initiator, you're chilling. He's gonna slow it down here again. Just too much util from the enemies. This is kind of what you have to do. When the enemies have too much stopping power, like, you need to chill. You need to just chill for a bit. Let the enemy, like, you know, he's playing Brimstone. He's only got a certain amount of smokes. That's a rocket now as well. You need to just learn how to chill and just stop for a minute. Now, in lower elos. Oh, here we go with the entry. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is happening? One more Baki Tower. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Yeah, in lower elos, they're nine times out of ten they're gonna flank you. Like, uh, just watch your flank and you'll be chilling. This guy's running into mollies. I I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, a bit of a raise div. I don't know, man. Double Rosa. It's confusing. Oh. One man and one the CTR. Chamber. Chamber. Nice. nice. 6-5. Yeah, we got a we got a little statement from Riot as well about Chamber and Fade. And like they were talking about KO as well. I don't know if you've seen the State of the Agent thing, but uh basically saying Chamber's too powerful and they're looking at him for more nerfs on his rendezvous. 
specifically. Uh, they said like KO was really bro. Oh, pushing Sans here. That's all. Yeah, Chamber is too powerful. They're probably gonna nerf him. Uh, KO is too powerful in pro play, which I completely agree with. But not that good in ranked. And Fade is just too powerful overall. Was was what they were saying pretty much on that, which is all completely true. So hopefully after champions we get like a good patch here. Nading the choke here. Dude, I can get Bobo when I get back. They plays counter flash to the breach. It's literally perfect. Bouncing it off just so it has an extra bit of time that you can work with here. Up the back. One dish. He's going for the preemptive rotate here. You see the you see where Broom is right now? He doesn't see anybody. He's on him in. There you go. And he gets completely rewarded for the early rotate. The nade, maybe you can stop the plant with this. Think so? Nice. Very, very rough spot to be in here. What's the chain? Oh. <laughs> Another eight? Another ace, man. What? What? <laughs> Another ace. Jesus. Chill out. What the fuck? That is crazy. You got two aces pretty much back to back. That was like two rounds in between. Great counter nade there as well, by the way. If you have a fade, go suck that... Uh, Go suck that spot main with a nade and you just get instant kills. Even if you have a breach as well, you can get your breach to stun the exact same spot. And you just fuck people up, man. You get like 300 damage nades from that. Because a lot of the time the enemy will just run no fear because of the breach stun. Come into his neon to just get ready for a rotate here. Looks like the enemies are not budging. I think they forced as well, right? Seems like they forced. Oh, uh, on a bulldog. Is that Iron Buddy? Yeah. Because this gun takes no skill, so it's Iron Buddy. Iron Buddy? How does he even have an Iron Buddy? Yep. <laughs> what? How many years do you have in the senior? I have one year. I don't know how he has an Iron Buddy. That's strange. The, I'm, I'm not even sure if he's on an EU or an A. To be honest. I don't, like, I don't know if XF went home yet. Maybe he has the the EU account that has everything unlocked. I'm not I'm not certain. He must. He, yeah, they must be because there's no way he has an iron buddy on his main on a on an A. Just playing really slow here. The enemies again. They did force last round. You hear the sheriffs. Two holding. No need to make any fancy plays here. You just kind of relax. Let them. Let them come into your, your smokes. The, the enemy are going to look for some sort of play. You just have to shit on them for it. You can see his teammates are not listening to what I'm saying right now. And they're trolling the round. He's got this brimstone on a 1v1 here. See, so he he's not just wide swinging him. Nice. If you wide swing this guy, you're getting one tapped. This is just how it is. If you want to peek him, you need the satchel. like, Or you need to very, very slowly clear those angles like he did. Like, you've had it before, you've been running around with your Spectre, thinking you're like hilarious, running gun on people, and then boom, you go untapped. It's not, it's not a good feeling. Slowly gonna take some dish control here. Same tool. Nothing dish. A lot of times when you do- oh, you just grab this orb as well, nice and free. See how much faster you can farm the, the Razel here? Actually goes for it. Wow! <laughs> Chamber, no. Five bullets. Fuck this character. Doesn't even reload here. Giga Chad maneuvers. Finally doesn't. Does still have a boom bot here. For some info. And a spike. This chamber might just wait his TP cooldown though. Aye. Damn. Loses the 1v1 to the chamber. That's so unlucky. I think his TP just came off cooldown or he just got in range. All I'm saying is that he's unbalanced and that you can't punish him ever. <laughs> Second agrees the chamber's not balanced. 
I need to miss Desirosa. You want to play? Let's play. I disagree. It is a Rosa, but Chamber's not balanced. Oh, so it's fine. Oh, little two piece there. Rimmy. Rimmy Brimstone. Rimmy Brimstone. Just no fucks here. You pretty much have the whole map when the enemies are dead. Your trip still hasn't went off either. Might as well grab this orb. Get Start this eating orb them so up. Ult on another chamber who will TP away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> or raise, man. One under, or arcades. I miss the days when you used to just have oh, six for your ult and you just to kill everyone with your two nades. Very, very sad. Guess not. God, man. Beta Rays was the most broken shit ever. Probably, to be honest, still gets top play chamber nowadays, but... You know. She was broken. She was definitely broken. Beta Rays might... I don't know. I I think Beta Rays or Release Chamber are, like, the two most powerful characters ever. Like, in the history. Well, Astro was pretty broken as well. Like, thinking about it. So was Viper. Viper when she yeah, on 50 to K yeah, was, was also pretty counter. broken. I think Fade's pretty good as well. At uh I oh, don't know, those characters were all like not even I don't I don't know if Jet maybe maybe or like Especially like if a chamber is I don't know. They're all like they're all there. Pretty much like they're it's just like top five. How do you get that gold I don't know which one I'd say is the most broken, but they were I'm probably chamber. <laughs> but I don't know if that's just recency wise. Again with this nade at the at the very start. He's afraid of the neon rushing him here. That's why he yeah, goes for this. Just goes for the satchel. Bro, I'm gonna ult this. Bro, I'm gonna ult this. You ready? No, actually not. <laughs> he changed his mind. He doesn't give a fuck. Uh, nice shots over the chamber. Nice shot. <laughs> his aim is so crispy, man. It's actually really crispy. No, really, you are cracked. Even even the breach is saying it, man. Couldn't agree more. It's so crisp. Just heads. Like he knows exactly when to like stop shooting with his vandal. Uh, more, more. And then he overswings so hard. Yeah, it was pretty close. He, he went for the big like hero play there. Would have been good if it worked, but obviously risky. I would have knifed him, bro. Come on. What the fuck is going on? Oh, the enemy breach ult's gonna come out. No, he actually didn't even ult. 13 6, what was that, 28 kills? Really good game, actually. There's uh, two aces as well, what the fuck? That was a really good game. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, boys. Like, sub, all that stuff. Join the Discord, follow my Twitch. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.